Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the One Hand Mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Today we are working on a Cub Cadet XT1 LT46. It's a 46 inch mower deck, and today I'm going to show you, in my opinion, how to install a new mower deck belt. First thing we want to do is check the tools that we're going to be using today. From left to right, we have the OEM belt. I definitely recommend using the OEM belt. Uh, this is the part number for this machine. I would recommend, highly recommend, just making sure you have the right belt. Don't believe that this number is the right one for your machine. 3 8 ratchet, quarter inch. Uh, this is a quarter inch extension for my electric ratchet I use. Pair of pliers, 9 16 wrench, 9 16 or 14 millimeter socket, an 8 millimeter socket, a pry bar for helping us get the motor deck on and off. And I'm going to go ahead and use electric power tools. Uh, like I said, 3 8 quarter inch for these if you have a quarter inch ratchet what do you have is as long as you have an eight millimeter or five sixteenths nine sixteenths and 14 millimeter we should be good to go let's get to it first thing we want to do is put the mower deck all the way in down position if you can do this on asphalt or concrete that would be great if you have it next thing we want to do is i'm just going to open up the hood just so you guys can see down below we have a this is a belt guide Okay, right here. This belt guide right here goes down, it goes all the way across, and it keeps the front belt on the engine pulley. So what we're gonna do is take this off. I know a lot of you guys think you guys can um, just use your fingers and pinch it around and take it off. Well, that's okay if you guys wanna do it that way, but I'm gonna take off this. It's an eight millimeter. Now what we have to do is we have to go around to the other side, find out where this is going through the frame so we can mark it with a marker, which I did not put on the tools needed. But you're gonna look for the stud coming through, okay? And if you follow this down, it actually goes through all the way down right here and across the other side right here, okay? So we're gonna mark it, the frame, right here, just so we know where to put it back. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And it should just, slide right out and then down and I'm just going to set this off to the side because we're going to put that back on so the belt will just come right down now and since we're in the front here now I always check that we're going to take the front rod off the mower deck it is tight right now and that's why I had the pry bar because what you're going to do with the pry bar if you use your pry bar and you slip it underneath the mower deck if you lift up on the mower deck a little bit with the pry bar usually it makes it loose right there Okay, that'll make your rod much easier to come off. And I'm just holding up the front of the mower deck with a pry bar. So you take this, this is a uh, bow tie butterfly clip and it works great. Make sure when you put them back to put them back forward to rearward so they don't pop out. We do 90% of our driving forward and 10% backward. So if you put it in this way, it has a tendency of popping out, possibly, maybe not. These are good clips. Put it in this way and it should stay on. And if it doesn't, it'll pop in and not fall off. So this is loose. I'm gonna go ahead and drop that down. If you're gonna have the mower deck off for a long long period of time, definitely make sure you take this out, out of the front, okay? And we're just gonna leave it right there for now. We're not gonna take it all the way out. But if you're gonna leave the mower deck off for a while, I would definitely take that out so you don't jackknife it and bend it. I'm gonna take the pry bar out now. I'm gonna come around to the back side here. And this is where pair of pliers to get in right here where this clip is. Now, this is pretty loose, so we don't have to use the pry bar to lift the deck. We're gonna go ahead and take this one off. And they're pretty tight in here. That's why it's easier to do it with a pair of pliers. Now, this will come right out. It comes right out. And I put it above this pin here. It'll probably fall down, but I just do that because we're gonna actually raise this up out of the way once we get to the other side and take that one out. Okay, so this is the other side. And this one feels a little bit tighter, so this side of the mower deck might be, we might need to raise it up a little bit. Just gonna take the clip out. Yeah, now it won't slide up. So I'm gonna put the pry bar underneath it again. Lift up on the pry bar. That will make that loose. I'm gonna put it above there. You're gonna go ahead and lift your mower deck height lever all the way up, as high as it'll go. Now that is spring loaded, so be careful. If you just let this go, it's uh, spring loaded, so you want to be careful when you put it up. Okay, so now we have the mower deck almost ready to come out. Now, the problem with these mower decks that I don't like is that they have a very short blade engagement cable right here, and they have a pin connected to it. So if you follow this cable back, 
there actually is an eyelet right here that you that holds this cable in if you can get that out of the eyelet i'm gonna go to the rear hopefully you guys can see me here but a pair of pliers i'm gonna push this eyelet open a little bit so i can get the cable out like that that'll give us a little bit of room so we can slide the mower deck out and i'm just going to slide it out and you got to be very careful you don't overextend this cable because this cable will definitely kink it's very short and what i want you guys to do is see where the pin is okay so here is the pin and here how tight it is right here so we got to get the pin off so let's go ahead and use a pair of pliers and we'll just same butter clay, butterfly clip, just like everything else, just like that. Okay, now there's a little slot in this right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's on, actually the slot is on the other side. You're not gonna be able to see it, but pull your cable out, and you'll see the slot. It's on this side right here. You're not gonna be able to, but there's a slot there. Now we have the cable out, and it's attached to the mower deck. We can pull it out a little bit more, just so you guys can see. All right, now this hook, the way you have it in from the factory, you go straight down in and it's not easy getting it out. It won't come out. So what I do is I'll use the engagement arm, like I'm gonna engage it. Now it is spring loaded here, so be careful. All right, you're gonna push it in like you're engaging the mower deck, hold it with your one, arm, one hand, and then you're just gonna lift up just like so. All right, so, so basically what I'm doing is I'm pushing the arm back so you can get your cable and you're going to do the same thing when you put it back in so we're going to push the arm all the way back and then you're going to be able to go in just like that so when you and make sure that you're underneath the belt and your brake rod right here all right so just just want to make sure you confirm that it's how you take it out and put it in it makes it that much easier and then this is going to hang and there's no real easy place to put this but we're only doing the mower deck, but if you're gonna drive the tractor around, you're gonna have to place it somewhere where you won't drive, where you won't run it over the tire. I've seen it happen all the time, and you ruin the cable. All we have to do is have the mower deck off to put the belt on. So at this point, you should be able to pull this out. And this is all farther we really need to go. So this is when you check your, check your pulleys, and we have to take off these covers. We have to take off this pulley here just to get the belt in there. I don't recommend using a pair of pliers or anything to bend these. Don't, you don't wanna bend them because they never want and never bend back correctly. And you see how the gap is so close. You don't wanna have that too close or too far away or the belt will fall off. So it's very important that these keepers stay where they are. Also, these covers are designed to keep the belt on. So do not run the deck without the covers. It's very important to run with the covers on as they keep the belts on. So I'm going to go ahead and use the 8 millimeter. And this could be a 5 16 also. I'm pretty sure the covers are the same as far as left and right. Okay, now the hard part is uh, going to be getting these for me at least, is gonna be getting the pulleys off because there is a nut on the bottom of these. I don't like that, but that's the way to do it. And this one here, I'm pretty sure the nut's on the backside of the mower deck. Okay, we'll see if it comes off. And it just spins. All right, so that means that we have a, find the bottom. And then we're gonna go ahead and try it again. All right, there you go. Now it has a cap on here. Make sure the cap goes back. I, what I you normally do is I'll just loosen it. I leave a nut on top because then it won't, you won't lose any hardware. And it's easy to take it right off. Now this has to be, this has to be at one spot. Okay, and as you can see, it only goes one, it only goes a little bit one way and a little bit the other way. As long as you leave it where it's stationed, it should stay where it's supposed to be. If you take it all off, then you're gonna find out where it actually connects in there. I'm gonna leave it just the way it is because we don't need to take that off. This one here, we'll try it. Again, like I thought, there's a nut. I think it's on the back side of the mower deck, so we have to lift the mower deck up. 
And it's in here. All right, so I'm gonna hold. I'm just, I just straddled the mower deck between my legs. This is not for everybody, so hopefully you guys will be able to do this at home. And then you get your ratchet in here. And I'm not gonna take it all the way off because I don't want to lose that nut in there. I'm just gonna take it off far enough. I just backed it off a little bit. Just wanna take it off far enough that we can get the pulley. Just see how it, we have plenty of room now. And that also only goes so far. So as long as we don't take it off any farther than that, we should just be able to flip it off just like that. Now the new belt, I always say, make sure you check the new belt against the old belt, unless the old belt broke. But it's very important. Okay, this is pretty much the same. And I will show you, when you look up the parts, I'll show you, it's on the back of the, it's on the back of the seat, but let's just get this on here. I'll show you the model number that you need to use to look up your belt number. And then you just have to go to a Cub Cadet website. Always remember, facing forward, okay, you have a belt that usually comes straight across in the back. So that's pretty straightforward here, right here. And then you're gonna flip it around like so. And then you're gonna go through that pulley. And it's gonna be a little tricky to keep, keep them all intact for the time being until you get them out. What I wanna do is, I wanna get these tight. Now actually that one moved out of the way, so you got to remember how they were. And, I, and I, I just know from doing this that that one goes right there and it actually was over here. When you get it all back together again, we're gonna engage the belt just to make sure that nothing is rubbing. And the way it's going to be set up, it's going to be pulling this forward like so, like that. This guy here is going to, should be there. This could, should be here and nothing should be rubbing. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this one up. And I have to put the wrench underneath. And you just basically a feel for where the head of the bolt is. And then we're going to tighten this up. Always double check to make sure everything spins when you tighten it up. Make sure that the... The guide here is not hitting the pulley. You would hear it if it was. It is not. This one here, we're gonna have to pick up the mower deck. I'm just straddling it again, and then I'm gonna use the wrench on this side. We also have to make sure that we have the guide on this side in the correct way. Go ahead and tighten this up. got the same gap it's about right where it was everything looks good there okay now this is where I kind of pull it tight now sometimes these blade breaks right here blade break here and a blade break here they tend to they work <laughs> they do what they're supposed to do and sometimes when you try to pull this tight you're gonna get hung up with the brake so if you just if you look like you're trying to engage the belt you can actually pull these taut and I like to do that because what I'm going to do now is put the covers back on. The belt should not fall off once these guides put, are put on. We'll go ahead and get both sides done real quick here. I like the fact that they're metal, which is nice. Uh, they, won't, uh, they won't get worn out like the plastic ones do. Okay, everything looks good. The belt is in, shouldn't fall off. Now we're going to go ahead now. You gotta be careful with this cable, like I was saying. I'm gonna move this off to the side a little bit, and we're gonna go ahead and slide this back in. I'm gonna just slide it in to the point where I can get this cable on into the slot here. So what I gotta do now is I have to engage the mower deck by hand, and then put it down through the slot like that, and then it'll slide underneath the brake arm and your belt. We're gonna go ahead, push it in a little more. You have to get it back through the spot here and I just I work it by just taking the deck in a little bit further and then through the slot it goes and now we have to go ahead and get our I'm gonna pull it out a little bit since I have it in there so I can see it a little better because there's a hole in the, in the side of it here and we have to go ahead and put the pin through it 
Now we're gonna go ahead and push this back in all the way. Slide it into where you think it's right. Now I'm gonna come around the back here and put that cable back up through the slot. Like that. And I'm gonna bend this tab back so it can't pop out. Just a little bit, keep from popping out. Now we're gonna do the reverse. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the mower deck adjustment all the way down. And like I said, remember that's spring loaded, so be careful. And since we're on this side, we can go ahead and you find the hole right here. And I'm just moving the mower deck back and forth until I get it lined up. And use my pry bar and just pick it up a little bit. Slides it right in. Okay, just gonna use my pliers here to try to. The bow tie clips are nice, but in this circumstance, they're a little hard to get on and off on the back side there, but that's the way it should be, right like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side real quick. I'm gonna go ahead and lift it up with the pry bar and just move it a little bit. Slide it right on. I'm gonna go ahead and put the pin in. There we go on that one. Now this is where I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, front bar on. Okay, now coming to the front bar, if you can see here, there's two different holes. Okay, so putting the front in, it actually has numbers on it, 42 and 46. Just make sure you look at the wear marks and also put it in the right hole. I'm just gonna put it in the 46. That went right in fairly easy. Clip on. This is where I'm gonna go ahead and put the belt on the top. Now the belt's on. Now what I'm gonna do is engage the mower deck. So we're gonna go up here and engage the mower deck. Now this is where you wanna look underneath and make sure that your belt is on your pulleys. Make sure everything is lined up. Make sure nothing's rubbing, like those idler guides, the, the uh, pulley guides. Make sure they're lined up and not hindering or hitting anywhere. Everything looks good. You come up to the engine pulley. Now leaving this engaged. Okay, so the trick with getting the bracket on is keep your mower deck belt engaged. Then go up underneath Find, this is where the screw hole is, and then this will sit up in here. You have to go to the other side where your mark is. You're gonna put this up into its hole here, right here, and then also by looking underneath, you're gonna find the hole on the other side. Push it through the other side. You have, it kinda has to be done all at once. You just go ahead and put this bolt back in, tighten it up. Now, you wanna look below and make sure that your mower deck belt is not rubbing on either side, but it's where it's supposed to be. And also make sure the guide is not running on the engine pulley. Now we can go ahead and disengage it so it can run. Engage the mower deck. I'm gonna bring the mower deck up halfway. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the tire pressure. I'm gonna take it out for a test drive. I'm gonna go ahead and run the mower and then bring it back in and level the mower deck. I did want to show you guys one other thing about the ordering the belt. Okay, so if you're gonna go ahead and order the belt, you're gonna use the model number here, which is a 13APA9CT056. Look at your machine, take that model number, go to Cub Cadet's website. This is a Cub Cadet, but it's actually made by MTD, as you can see. MTD and Troy Built Cub Cadet, they're all made by MTD. This is an MTD part number. You're gonna go ahead and go to their website and look up the belt and you should be good to go, order it in. So that pretty much wraps it up for how to install a mower deck belt on an XT1 LT46 Cup Cadet. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, please subscribe, tell your friends about my channel and I'll catch you guys on the next one.